That fish Reedy here with another update video on my latest project as I have shown in the video before it is my aquarium uh, feeding culture which is brancher now as you've seen before uh, you, I told you about the currents uh, the whole system here as you can see we have the lamp as before uh, here we have that same airline tubing so on and so forth now, I'm about to do a water change, but I will not show you the water changing because it is relatively boring. What I will be showing you is the actual um, brown shrimp, the live brown shrimp that I have been growing for the last three and a half weeks, and it's about to be four weeks as soon as it hits Sunday. So, um, uh, in the last video, if you watch it again, or if you recall, um, the brine shrimp were very difficult to see. They, uh, the current absolutely, uh, well, just scattered them about, and the water was very dirty. So, uh, you couldn't see it at all. But, in this video, I'm about to do a, uh, a, a water change. So, in order to do that, all I simply have to do is unplug that, uh, the plug right there that leads to the um, the uh, air pump. So therefore, I stop the the current, and this will therefore allow them to congregate in a specific location which I want them to go to. So therefore, when I clean all the gunk, all the casings of their the molts, all of the feces, all etc., when I go to retrieve that. I will not fish up, or I will try not to fish up any of the live brine shrimp here. Because, of course, that is what I'm trying to keep alive and prosper. So, um, in order to do so, as you can see, there's a new attachment here. This is basically those regular head, like, headlamps, which you can put on your, like, cap. And, you know, how you walk around and, uh, like you're hiking or something. These are really easy these are cheap these are also sold for like book lights and whatnot this one happened to be the book light type but it doesn't matter this one's a fluorescent one and uh very cheap but as you can see there there are an absolutely bonkers right i just made up a word right there bonkers amount of uh brine shrimp estimating from just this pile alone there is approximately uh, I would say 200 just here and there's still some of them out in the rest of this tank I, I just had them congregate to this area using the light the reason why if you're wondering they're attracted to light is simply due to the fact that they're phototrophic what that means is that they are well attracted to light and this is a survival technique they use in order to find their way to the surface when they are born uh, and usually the surface is where majority of the algae is growing in their in their uh, habitat and therefore more plentiful resources and food so this is their technique and a technique numerous aquarists involve in the culturing and or harvesting of baby or adult branching as you can see here i'm just doing this not to uh, not to harvest at all simply just to show you and also so i can clean the bottom of the tank so, um, uh, sorry, I'm a, I think I'm sick or something, but don't mind me, please. Please forgive me. But, uh, as you can see, they are relatively, no, not relatively, they are very huge rhyme shrimp. I've not been giving them that big of a different diet. Honestly, all they are being given is a lot of yeast. Um, I give them about one big feeding a day. I know that it's better to feed numerous smaller feedings. And this increases the growth rate, but I just don't have the time on school days, so I just feed one right before I go to bed. And, uh, all I simply do is, uh, let's see here. First, I take some yeast. Alright, sorry it's kind of dark. As you can see here, there's this powdery-like substance at the bottom, and no, it's not cocaine. Uh, this is yeast. And if you know what yeast is, of course, it's basically, very simply, uh, the stuff that bakers use to bake bread, 
and it's a bacteria. Um, you can buy it at, like, stores just to, you know, uh, bake bread and stuff. But, of course, that's not what we're doing here. We are not breaking bed. Bre huh. Baking bread. Sorry about that. We are feeding our brine shrimp, which will in turn feed our fish. It's very simple. All I do is take some salt water here. This does not look like salt water at all to you. This looks like a normal water bottle. But all it is, I actually refilled it with uh, water that's been dechlorinated. And I added salt accordingly. So there's about uh, a half to three-fourth teaspoon in here. And this is what I used to pour it inside a container, which contains this yeast. I mix it up until the yeast dissolves into a cloud. Uh, if, if you want to try it, you can try it at home. It's really simple and cheap. You just mix it, and it'll turn really cloudy. And you can feed that to uh, animals of all types that require... Um, the, uh, to be to eat foods through filter feeding and that includes brine shrimp here and also includes Daphnia and other crustaceans of that sort um I just realized here I didn't know this but this looks really cool so uh, this bucket here if you're wondering what kind of bucket it's just like uh, a bucket full that used to be full of cookie batter but uh as you can see obviously we cleaned it out and use it. But anyways, don't mind that. Uh, so you can see there. You see all those shadows? Yeah, those are the brine shrimp. Uh, and the lights on the other side. Actually, it looks pretty cool. I didn't I didn't know I could do this until while I'm recording this video. But that looks pretty awesome. You can see them swimming and... Almost looks like they're fighting, but of course they're not fighting. Uh, they're just trying to find food. And they think there's food here. But anyways, um... What else? Uh, also, what a supplement for their feedings is this powdery substance. No, this is not any other drug. This is goldfish flakes crushed up and Daphnia crushed up. And I put it inside this Ziploc bag here. And I, uh, this, what this does is it's simple, uh, um, this supplements for their diet and increases protein and lipids rate. It's, it's very simple. It's not that difficult. I just use the basic goldfish brand. Very, very, very cheap. Uh, not expensive at the slightest. Um, so, these bread and shrimp have been going at it, as I said before, three and a half weeks. And I have been told it can take anywhere from three to four, five weeks until they start uh, breeding. I'm hoping that they start breeding soon because I uh, I've lost quite a couple of brine shrimp through cleanings. So I think this is about half of what they used to be. Um, and I want a really big culture. I would like it if there was like so many I couldn't handle it. I'd rather have more than have an uh, un uh, insufficient amount. Uh, and if I had a lot of extras, I could sell it on eBay or something. Uh, that would be absolutely great. Because there aren't, if you check on online listings of all types of websites, there aren't a lot of live, grown brine shrimp around. There's only eggs. Eggs, eggs, brine shrimp eggs, decapsulated, it doesn't matter, there's only eggs. There are no grown brine shrimp. Because not a lot of people do it. I don't think it's worth it, but I find it's very simple. Uh, I've done this, I've actually, uh, I don't know if I said this in my last video, but I tried to grow brine shrimp two times before, and I failed. Miserably. They all died in the first two weeks, but this is my best so far. Which is why I am recording this, but. Anyways, this is just so that you guys can finally see what they look like. You can see their little eyes if you look. I know they're like skittering around a lot, but if you look really closely, they have black on them, uh, like two black uh, dots on their head, and those are their eyes. It's kind of hard to see when they're moving around and when my camera's moving around, but you can see there, the brine shrimp eyes. Uh, yep, that's basically all I wanted to show. Um, what else is there? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to grow... 
phytoplankton. And if you don't know what that is, for Aquarius, they would know it very well as green water. And green water is basically a... Um, it's it's a algae, but it's not like the type of algae people usually think of. Algae is usually thought of as a plant growth that uh, lives its life by sucking nutrients out of the water and living on the side of tanks. But those are the hard algae. The algae that we're talking about, the green water, it's a free swimming algae, so it flows with the water instead of sticking to things. So therefore, it makes the water, as the na as the nickname entitles, green. So, um, but its real scientific name is phytoplankton, uh, and I am trying to grow it. Like, you can buy cultures for them, but I just do not want to spend 15 bucks on a big bottle of green water when I only need a little bit to start off a huge amount of phytoplankton. And I might consider it, uh like starting a uh, buying phytoplankton if I really keep failing at growing it on my own but how I'm trying to do it as you can see in this cup I basically took some miracle Grow. if you don't know what that is it's a fertilizer uh, for plants like uh, your sunflowers or dandelions and whatnot I put a pinch in here and this and that's what all the black stuff is and then I put like three flakes in there and then what this does is that hopefully phytoplankton or the green algae the the spores that are, will, that are in the air they will land in here they'll colonize it and then the water will become very green and then I can therefore inoculate other cultures and use it in um, feeding my rancher instead of yeast and it's relatively effective and I would really like to have culture going uh, but it's I've been at this for like how many weeks now I think it's like two and a half weeks three weeks or something like that and it's still clear as you can see uh, I can tell it's starting to get slightly cloudy but that could just be infusoria and it might not be green water so I hope that green water starts but Anyways, that's about it for this video. Nothing a lot more. The, uh, the fish are doing fine. Uh, nothing big, really. Uh, yep. So I think this is about it. Um, sorry if you guys are looking forward to my Black Ops videos. I have not got the time to do it with school and fish and all that. I just don't have the time to get super pro videos. Um, because I am not saying I am pro, but I would like to find a good video for you guys. Because I care about my viewers. Um, that sounded super weird. But, um, yep, that's about it for this video. Yep, that fish breeder, signing out.